Hi ho there friends, I've got a problem today and I think it's underneath this rock. Let's lift this sucker up and see what's going on. Alright guys, as you can see I have my well tank and my well, my 6 inch well, underneath this little plastic rock. And yes, I do have a problem. Here's been the problem we've been having for a few weeks now. Water pressure has been erratic. Uh, going up and down we can have like you can be in the shower and the pressure is really good Then all of a sudden it kind of drops and it comes back in again So I decided I need to come out here and do a little bit of investigating and what I found is I Put a pressure gauge up here on my tank only had about 10 pounds of pressure there I do know this tank is about 20 over 22 years old. I've never replaced it <clears throat> I've actually put two well pumps in this thing now, I probably should have replaced the tank at least the second time, but uh, me being a hardhead, I uh, didn't. And now I've got another problem. So actually what we're going to do here today, guys, we're going to replace this tank and our pressure regulator, our gauge, our ball valve, everything you see here down below, we're going to replace it. I've already went and purchased it all. So let's go on out to the shop and take a look. All right, folks, we're in the shop here. Here's our brand new tank. It is a water worker brand, um, 20 gallon pressurized tank. Okay, I purchased all this stuff at Home Depot. They had all this stuff in stock. Now I wanna, I'm gonna briefly assemble this like I'm gonna have it, just temporary, but um, we'll actually disassemble it and go back and put some of this uh, uh, Teflon tape paste on every fitting and we'll actually tighten everything up properly but i just want to show you right quick um how you would assemble one of these okay if you look down in here you can look and see that there is a one inch uh pipe thread elbow there okay so one of the things that you will need is this t okay i bought a brass t this is made for well pumps and let's see if i can pull the camera and get this started without cross-threading anything. Okay, there we go. So that's your first piece that you will need to install, okay? And this piece is kind of pricey. I think it's about 30, 30 something dollars, okay? Now notice here you got a, you know, you got one inch threads over here, one inch threads here, you got half inch threads here, you got some quarter inch threads here. So our water is gonna be coming in from this side, from the well pump, okay? Now, if yours is set up where it's coming in this side, you just do the opposite. But the first thing that I'm going to have on this side here is a one-way valve, okay? And it's got an arrow right here pointing this way, okay? And so we'll have that valve screwed on there on this side. Now, of course, I'll be putting this pipe dope on and actually tightening everything up, you know, before we actually install it. I'm going to plumb in my... Uh, water line from the pump with PVC. So I've got a adapter here that we're gonna screw in. And then we will pipe everything in with a series of these little pieces of straight PVC. We got some couplers and a couple elbows, whatever we gotta do to, to get it uh, plumbed in, we will do, okay? So now, let's move on what we're gonna put right in this hole here is our pressure regulator. So we got a four inch nipple, brass nipple, and we're gonna go ahead and screw it in, okay? And we'll tighten that down. And we have our regulator right here. Now our regulator is a 30 to 50 PSI regulator, okay? And I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. But we're gonna go ahead and screw this in and it threads right into the quarter inch uh, pipe nipple here. Next thing on this side, on our half inch side here, down the front, this is a 75 pound pressure relief valve, okay? So if something was to happen and the pressure got higher than 75 pounds, it would actually pop this valve and shoot water straight down on the ground so it wouldn't blow up your tank, okay? It's just a safety feature to have on there. So that's what we have on that side. Over here, on the quarter inch uh, opening on the top, we're gonna put a brand new gauge in, okay? We'll have ourselves a brand new gauge. And I'll turn it around here like it should be for just right now. 
And then over here on our half inch front here, we're gonna put, it's just like a little water spigot, okay? In case we ever need to drain it, we, all you gotta do is uh, open up this valve and then you can, uh, you can hook a water hose up to it, like if you had this mounted um, in your basement or something, to where you could open it up and drain the whole tank if you had to service anything. Now, uh, two more things that we're gonna put on here. We have a ball valve. Now I think I've got this turned the way I want. It's either this way or the other way. And uh, so we have a ball valve here, so we got a water shut off, okay? And then th this here is our fitting that our black plastic one inch hose will actually uh, hook onto this and that will be the hose that goes underground to the house, okay? And so if we ever have a problem with the, uh, with the water and, and we need to, we can come right out and shut it off. Let's see which way, yeah. We can well, actually shut off right there. We would actually be opening it up in that position there, okay? So guys, that's about um, all of the items that you're gonna need to uh, hook up your new water tank. And this is the fashion that you would hook it up. Um, I don't think it really would matter if you had this over here where the gauge is and the gauge right here, I don't think that really matters. You just want your one-way valve uh, from your well water coming in. You have your check valve right there. It probably wouldn't matter which side these were on. You could put them either side if you wanted to. But that's basically about it. And of course, uh, whatever you need to plumb up your, uh, going to your well, okay? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble all this stuff and actually put the uh, Teflon paste on it, tighten everything down good. I'll get everything built up right here on the bench before we take it out there and install it, okay? And of course, I'll show you how to cut the water off and cut the power off out there as well. Let's go back and talk about this regulator, okay? Now, 30 pounds, that is the cut-in um, uh, pressure, okay? So inside this tank, it already comes pre-pressurized, okay? And the way that you check it is you pull your little valve cap off up here. And I've got a nifty little gauge that I bought today. And let's just stick it on there. And you can put it on there and actually read it. And you can read, this thing's reading about 30, 34 pounds of pressure. So this is actually too high, okay? And for a 30 pound to 50 pound switch you want to have your tank pressure set at 28 pounds so we're going to let a little bit of this air pressure out till we get it down to about 28 pounds now they do make switches that are 40 to 60 okay and if you had a 40 to 60 you would want to have your pressure at about 38 okay about two pounds lower than the cut in pressure okay and then you should have everything set up correctly all right just a little tidbit I wanted to let you know. All right, guys, we'll get all this stuff plumbed up and we'll show you uh, how to disconnect the old one. Okay, folks, hey, it's the next day. We've got everything already tightened down. We got all the um, uh, Teflon tape paste in place. Everything's been tightened down. We actually done all that yesterday. This thing's ready to carry out and go ahead and install. So let's go flip the breaker off. Guys, we are, we've already located and cut off our breaker to our well pump, which is right here. Make sure you find yours as well before you start messing with disconnecting wires. Okay guys, <clears throat> out here at the old well pump, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do it to keep this video uh, from being too lengthy. Here's our wires going into our breaker. First thing we're gonna do is go get our voltmeter to confirm that we do not have power anymore out here, here <clears throat> before we start taking things loose. We're gonna pull all four of these wires loose, making sure we mark where they come from so when we go back we'll we'll be putting them back where they belong we're going to pull these harnesses out of this uh um uh shoot i can't even think of the name of it now this piece right here on both sides then we're going to take a hacksaw and we're just going to cut our uh, pvc pipe right here we're going to go over here and cut our black pipe as well and then we're just going to kick this whole thing out of the way into the yard and go ahead and get it on out of the way. So let's do that and then we'll talk about uh, hooking up the new one. Just going to show you right quick on uh, checking your power on this regulator. 
regulator. I couldn't think of the name of that a while ago. Notice we have a little uh, voltmeter here. We got set on AC scale. We got our ground probe here grounded and we're just gonna check each one of these. And as you can see, we have no power there. We're gonna check across here. We have no power there. We have no power there and we have no power there. So we can actually touch this without getting zapped, okay? Make sure you confirm that before you start messing with this because this is 220 and it will light you up. Okay guys, real quick, I'm gonna show you here. I've already got the pipe cut loose here at the well pump. We've got our wiring harness taken out of our regulator and just laid out of the way. That's one coming up from the ground. And we're gonna wiggle this unit a little bit this way to where we can work this uh, wire out of here because as you can see we got a short piece of conduit here that's not very flexible so we're going to wiggle that we've already got our line cut loose over here and we're going to wiggle this thing out of place and get ready for our new one uh, one more tip i want to let you know about go ahead and cut your hot water heater breaker off okay so in case the water level in your um, hot water heater was to go down or something and the hot water heater kicked on you don't want to end up uh, trying to heat uh, air or whatever could do some damage to your hot water heater All righty, we'll move on. Okay guys. Here's what it looks like with the tank removed. Let's go into the shop I want to show you one more little thing. I'm going to do on our unit before we set it in. Okay guys our old uh, um, Regulator had these little conduit things here on the uh, electrical wire going in and I actually like that better than what the uh, regulator comes with because it just comes with these little ru rubber grommets Rubber grommet might be easier to work with, but I think I'd rather have the, keep that conduit the same way. So you can pull these plugs out. We're going to go ahead and install these back in like they were on the old one, and then we'll take it on out there and wire it up. One thing you may have to do, after I got these things in place, my little cover wouldn't fit on here quite right. So I had to take a pair of uh, tin snips here, and I actually trimmed it out and made it just a little bit larger to where my cover would fit over here correctly uh, when I'm done wiring it up and I'd be able to tighten this down. Just one more little thing you may have to do. Okay folks, hey we got our new tank out here. We have, uh, it's actually started raining. I got my son Nathaniel out here holding an umbrella over us. And we have a couple things that we had to do is you notice that the um, <clears throat> tank is sitting on a piece of 18 inch tile. Uh, we noticed that the concrete underneath our old tank was really unlevel. It's like they poured some rough concrete and set the tank down inside it. Uh, so what I wanted to do, I mixed up a little bit more concrete and leveled out uh, a little area underneath there and laid a tile on top of it and made sure the tile was nice and level and uh, let it set up just long enough for us to be able to set our tank in place because of course it's gonna take a couple days for that to cure up. Anyway, we got our tank in here, we got our wire conduit run back into our switch and we're going to go ahead and make all these connections here and uh, we got had to go back to the store and get a different barb fitting down here for our main hose to hook up to we're going to plumb this up with pvc and we'll be done here shortly okay guys hey we've wrapped this project up we're back out here on uh the next day because it, it got to rain so hard yesterday i had my son out here uh holding a big umbrella over me as i was uh making all these connections but we got the water flipped back on and we have real good water pressure now so we're happy 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 with uh, this little project as it comes to a completion I'm back out here today uh, I'm going to take some uh, insulating uh, foam pipe wrap and I'm gonna put it around all my pipes here and everything and put my uh, lights back in here I have a couple of uh, incandescent uh, light bulbs that like little lamps that I put in here so when it gets really really cold we can just plug plug in a drop cord and uh, keep our tank from freezing all right guys so once again uh, this is how I uh, installed a new um, pressurized water tank hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will see you next time take care